Welcome to WWE Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're reviewing the NXT from the 28th of October. Yeah. Did have to look there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And we start with Emma versus Shazza. Who the fuck is Shazza? <laughs> it's another <laughs> shit one. Shazza. I think Shazza was the one with the... An- she looked like she was an anime person. I think. Like Sailor Moon or some shit. But if, she, if she was blonde, and I, she, I didn't say. No. No, if she was blonde and Australian, then... She yeah can't be that yeah, didn't didn't really didn't care register for it too much. Nah. It's yeah, a bit weird to start off with Emma. Yeah. Don't normally don't normally see her unless Dana Brooks out there. No. Is Dana Brooke a company yet? No. No. No, oh, I remember this one then. I think Shazza is. Well, she might be the one that looked like Billy Kay or whatever. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Oh, no. the, there was a woman that looked like Sailor Moon. <laughs> I'm Let's just say it's Shazza. Yeah. I feel like it's Shazza. It might be. I feel like I need to Google this shit. <laughs> Google Shazza. It's a good thing we should have Googled that. Um, Probably. Emma obviously won. It was obvious how it's going to happen. Because they're not going to like that Shazza win. No. Are they? Who the fuck is Shazza? Oh, what the name? Emma got beaten by Shazza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't. You could come up with any name. I oh, know. Anything you want, and you've gone, I'm going to go Shazza. <laughs> Maybe her name's Sharon. Maybe. Hey, Shazza. 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 Yo, Shazza! <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like a dude. No. You're really going to come out and it tell me you're like a name, don't it? Like, yeah. Oh, Shazza. Shazza. Like, Shazza, she was well cool. Yeah. Like, no, just no. Just no, stop it. We're not fans. No. She could wrestle well, I don't know, but she sounds shit. I can't so. remember who she was. Star? Although, to be fair, all the jobbers we've named that have come through at the moment, they're actually pretty decent. Yeah, they are pretty good. Yeah. Um, Billy Kay's quite good. Yeah. So is Cassie. Cassie's good. good. Yeah. I, w- I wish they had personalities where they got to speak because they don't. I know. That's yeah, it's quite sad. Yeah, it yeah. is. But yeah, Emma won. I think that's <laughs> Emma. So my personalities we had Jason Jordan and Chad Gable oh, okay. versus Tomasa. I don't know. I still don't know how to say his name. Yeah, Tiam. Tiam. And Johnny Gargano. <laughs> Tomasa and Johnny. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it simple. Um. I don't remember this match. I though. love Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. They mm. are just incredible. <laughs> they are good. I loved it. Uh-huh. I loved how they played the whole thing with Jason trying to look for a tag partner. Yeah. And Chad Gable running around after him for ages. Yeah, and then we had the whole thing of them getting together and like he was like, oh, you want to do the whole Jordan Gable thing? They yeah. had that little tea towel. Yeah, the first was like, oh. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I now they're it. like, yeah, we're amazing. Yeah. It's kind of like they've had the road to be in the tag team. Yeah. And I feel like they're going to be tag team champions soon. Yeah. I hope so. And plus, you've seen the whole beginning of their coming together. Yeah. And they they are they because they're so similar wrestlers as well. It really yeah. works. And the thing is, they haven't just turned up to be a tag team champion. You've seen their kind of you know it's like you know like when like Typhoon King Cesaro became the tag team champion. They they just turned up. Yeah. And they were the tag team. And he's like, what? what? Yeah. It makes sense to these guys. Like all the time, it's just been like, yeah. It's good. Personally, I looked at them and was like, <coughs> what? Like at first. And then I was like, yeah, because Chad Gable literally turned up out of nowhere. Yeah, he was like a newbie. They just yeah. Him in. I feel like maybe they did the circuit together or something. We don't well, look into it. I know the, the story. Oh, do you? So Jason Jordan wasn't doing well as a singles player. No. He wasn't liked. So Chad Gable, they was like, oh, I think you're tag team work for you to bring out your personality more. Yeah. Chad Gable was discovered by them while he was doing amateur wrestling. Oh, right. He's won, like, champion. He was, he, he's he, done the Olympics. Yeah, Olympics wrestling, because he's, like, a other professional. Amateur wrestler. wrestler. Yeah. So was Jason Jordan when he was at school. So he got, like, oh, connection. Oh, that's similar, why, they, yeah. Similar, like, wrestling type. And then, so they put them two together, and they really gelled, and it made Jason Jordan more interesting, which is yeah. why they're working. It's like the NXT type of King of Cesaro. It really is. Yeah. But it's so cute. I just love how positive Chad Gable is, though. He is. He's like... Like Jason and Gable. Oh. Yeah. So good. Yeah, they're, so, they're so adorable. But I don't remember his name. <laughs> yeah, Tommaso and Johnny, I'm not, I couldn't put a face to the name. No. But J- J- Jason, Jordan, and Chad Gable won anyway. Yeah. But they, mm. they won with a good move. I think that's the thing with J- uh, Jason, Jordan, and Chad Gable, though. They are good at being tag teams. If, no, that's very stupid. But they always use tag team moves and they're interesting tag moves. Yeah. You won't see anyone else do. Yeah. Like Tyson and Zara, they were innovative, they'd come up with their own stuff and they yeah. worked on it hard. Like, and that's why they use those work. And obviously they're twins, twins but so. it works. Like, it's good when you have more than just one or two tag moves. Yeah. 
Okay, good. So they had Nia Jax versus Kaylee Ray. Any idea? I think she looked like Cassie. <laughs> you just thought about every Not gonna lie. Most of them looked like Cassie or Billy Kay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she might have been the one I thought was Cassie or Billy Kay. I don't know. There's Peyton Royce. You're forgetting about her. Oh, Peyton Royce. Might have been Peyton Royce. <laughs> there, there's like ten of them. Yeah. There, there is about. They all wear the similar outfit, sparkly like blue or the sparkly yeah. pink. Yeah. They always wear the same stuff. It's hard to. It, it's your standard wear if you're not famous. Yeah, basically. It's, it's job aware. Yeah. Job aware. <laughs> job aware. Job aware. Like, like, like a brand. Yeah. <laughs> Get your job away today. Job away. Just for 9 9 <laughs> Just like the next one. Woohoo. Job away. Brilliant. I love it. Obviously, Nia Jax finally, because it's the second match since she's been here. They just put her against Jobbers to make her look big. I know, which is really weird because she has started to interact with people backstage. Like, after this, she's mm. got bits going on. Like, with. Uh, Ethan Bray. <laughs> Painful. Um, but yeah, she had. They've given her a lot of shit. People, whereas Asuka, she's gone against a lot of. But Dana Brooke, that yeah. way, like in there. Uh, I would like to see Nia Jax against someone. But I don't know why like, Dana Brooke. She was in there straight away against mm. Charlotte, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. But with like, even Rhea getting <coughs> shit. Yeah. But with Nia Jax, she could have easily gone against like someone. Yeah. But then there's no other face she could have gone against. Like yeah. I think that's why. I think she's gonna go against um Bailey soon though, I reckon. The thing is it's not enough there's only Bailey who's the face. Yeah. No one else is blue pants, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, who else is face? No one. Yeah. There's not bounce that right? Gotta be one. Because if Bailey goes, who's gonna be the like the face person? There's gotta be another face there somewhere. Oh honestly, just blue pants, that's it. It's all people like Billy Kay. Give be. him a fucking storyline. Yeah, if you give him a storyline, we're fine. Because it's all, it's always just going to be like people facing randoms or Bailey. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. They got rid of all their face. Yeah. When well, Sasha Banks was here, Charlotte and Becky Lynch face. Okay. Yeah, that makes my sense. Really. I'm sure there were some other ones that they got, well, not got rid of, but I'm sure there were some other faces no, that were. Because Emma was face, and then yeah, Dana Brooke. Hill. Who the fuck am I? Oh, Asuka's face. Oh, yeah, Asuka's got better. Yeah. See what I'm saying to it. Yeah. Because then we've got Alexa Bliss going for Bailey. Yeah. Eve Marie. Marie going for Bailey. And I'm, re- I'm really worried Nia Jax is going to be a bitch. Nia Jax is a heel. Yeah, it says Eve Marie. Yeah. I feel like Nia Jax is going to be Eve Marie. Oh, well, oh. Yeah. Yeah. But they have got all this. Where are they going? Guys. Don't know, I thought it was Wow. Um, I'm right. They then had Enzo, well, they had, we had, I don't know. Enzo and Big Cass versus Dash and Dawson. We um, love <laughs> But Big Cass got injured in the match, so it was no contest. The match had to finish. I think um, they got the ring, did they? Oh, did they? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, they're attacking. They're yeah, right. they didn't get the ring. Yeah. But they do hurt his knee, though. Yeah. He actually got injured. The ring. Yeah, he actually got, he hurt his yeah. knee. Poor knee. Oh, puppy. Um... I think um, Kath and Carmella are together in real life. Are they? Weird. Carmella's shit as well, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm warming up to Carmella. I hate to say that. Really? Mm. This is shit. Yeah. This You're is warming good. up to Alexa Bliss as well, aren't you? I am. I'm trying to look for the... Yeah. Pot- I can see the potential. I think that's why. Do you think? Yeah. Like, I know they've got work, but I can see the potential. They have to yeah. carry on. Because Alexa Bliss has improved a lot since I last saw her. Yeah, she, she has improved. I still, I, I don't think she's to my standard. <laughs> she's not, but you remember who she is. And I think that yeah, that yeah. always helps. Like yeah. if you saw her face, she'd be like, oh, that's Alexa Bliss. But, yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I said to Jake, she looks like something the other day, and he totally agreed. A raccoon, cute little raccoon. She looks like a raccoon. <laughs> oh, I saw an insult. It's a cute thing. Um, talking about Alexa Bliss, she challenges Bailey to six person tag match next week with Blake and Murphy and Bailey needs to find the tag team to pair up with. Oh yeah. That's the Broadway Women's, is it? I think it was the Broadway yeah. Women's. I think. It might have been someone else. No, she's, it was the Heartbroker you were saying. Oh, it was the Heartbroker. I think it was the Heartbroker. Heart yeah. um, then it had Tyler Breeze versus Mojo because obviously Tyler Breeze eliminated Mojo. 
from the Battle Royal for NXT number 10 spot, and then Tyler, uh, Samoa Joe did a promo about it because he's been angry. Mm-hmm. So now they've got a match, basically. Um, I think this was Tyler last match. It was Tyler Breeze's last match. It was Tyler Breeze's last match. Yeah. It was Tyler Breeze's last match, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. It was the um, last one he's had since. Yeah, I think so. I he's had quite a bit of airtime, though. I feel like he's got a bit more than Neville when he went out. He has, yeah. Mm. He well, he's already, he's already been on a pay per view. Yeah, he's and what? had a match. Yeah. He's had a match. Although, that was meant to be pre show. Was it? Yeah, they bumped it up. How come? To put the 5x5 match. Oh, really? That's why it was so short as well. Damn. I've done a lot of research this week. Yeah, we've been reading up. We've been knowledging. I've been knowledging. Is that right? Knowledging. Misstating. Educating myself. Knowledging. Knowledging. Beautiful. Yeah. Rapping. Rap, rap. I mean, I'm just not not convinced about Smudge Eyes still. I like him when he cuts promos now. Mm. Not. He's. It's just too. I, I can see why he is where he is, but I think he's. For me, he's like. Like, you know why Mark Henry's there. You know what I mean? Like, Mark Henry, Big Show, because they were big once. Mm, yeah. I feel like Samoa Joe is nearly hitting that past it, but he's not past it yet. I know it sounds really not bad. It's not bad, weird, I don't know. But I just don't like the whole Samoa thing. Because <laughs> that's why I was like, I'm a bit put off by Roman Reigns. He's the, this is Samoa, the Samoa thing. Yeah. And that's why I don't like the Usos that much. I don't know why it bugs me, but it feels so cliche. Yeah, I, know I think that's why I don't like it. No, it's a mojo. I, I think if you go down the whole history of like WWE, there's always that a Samoan, Samoan character, and I hate yeah. it. I, I think that's why I don't like Samoan jokes. It's just so cliche, and we've had it all before. Yeah, well, it's like, like different or so Like, do you remember what was his name? Imago. Is it Imago? Imago. He yeah. was Samoan. We had someone else before that who was Samoan. The Rock was Samoan. Like, Uso's dad. Oh yeah, Rikishi. Rikishi Samoan. There's it. always a Samoan. And I don't know why it irritates me. <laughs> the way had the pattern, the tribal pattern. Yeah. It's just yeah. I suppose it's just not new. It's the same. I wish I had a Samoan that didn't act like a Samoan. Like no, you can yeah. be like I'm Samoan, but I'm not gonna act like one. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Well, Samoan Joe's other than the Samoan. <laughs> it's the least. But he's wrestling Samoan. I know it sounds really yeah. stupid, but his whole submission move, the, the camel clutch, is so Samoan to me. Yeah. And I think, I know, I think that's why I don't like Samoa Joe. Uh-huh. It's just, he's too Samoan. <laughs> I think I've got, I think I've got more into him when he tag teamed up with uh, Finn. Yeah. There's no Finn in this one, is there? No. That's really sad. Finn hasn't been around in a while. Yeah. He's doing house shows. Mm. Oh yeah, he, he was, was on tour this yeah. time, yeah. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, Tyler Breeze unfortunately lost. Yeah. Tyler Breeze never won on NXT in the end. He just kept losing everything. Yeah. It, that's why I find it weird that they brought him up. I'm glad they did. Mm. And he is getting a nice little push. But it's weird because the whole time, the whole last two months, two, three months he's been on NXT before he did get pushed up. He, he was losing. People were making a joke out of him. And he wasn't getting any main events. This is the, he had a main event here and that was it. Yeah. So, it's a bit weird. Yeah, it was a bit... That's why I didn't see his... Um, debut coming because it just didn't seem yeah. like it was going that way but clearly they had other ideas so I'm sorry that they emergency brought him up I think they did but they could have emergency brought up anyone to be in that story true. to be fair true brought anyone up exactly oh well okay. that was NXT yeah what are we going to rate it you know what I think it's leave it to you three oh, I'll go for three yeah, okay. three I'm going to rate that a three Alright, so guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Retweet, retumble. Oh, follow us, sub us. Like us, comment. Yeah, do the comments. We like the comments. Yeah, we like the comments. And share us. Let the world know. Goodbye.